I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in those categories. I think this is a great skill to build because it trains you to play hands that you might not normally consider. And also, if you ever want to play in a competitive event, organizers will pre-select categories, sometimes even a hand. And the first player to win, either the hand or a hand in the category that's pre-selected, will win a prize. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are the categories that we're going to force. I'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 and 13 tiles respectively for each attempt. And then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a couple of jokers, a south. One, two, three, five, eight in dots with a pair of twos. Three crack, three, five, eight in bams with a pair of eights. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would force like numbers because we have eights, including a multiple. So I would hold the eights, pass the south and break up the two. Let's see. Pass these three, maybe, maybe the five instead. Because then we have one five. The thing is we have three threes if we get keepers during the Charleston, eventually we, we could be faced with passing like numbers if we don't break up at least one of these threes. So I think I would let a three go this time. Now we have two threes and two fives. So between all these passes, we'll be able to break those up. So let's pass these three. We'll force like numbers. Okay, no keepers, eights. In hindsight, I would have a backup plan. We have a pair of eight bams. Let's just keep two four. Now I wish I had kept that two dot. Sometimes you get tiles back though. Let's find out. So let's pass a three in here. Okay, no keepers. We have two, four. We do have consecutive. We got another three. Let's put, a, oh, that's one of each suit. That'll work. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> I hope nobody would pass that. I actually played the other day and I got all three eights, one in each suit. It happens. So we're keeping it. We'll break this up now. Look at that, we have all the eights. All we really need now are flowers. Let's pass one of each suit. Maybe put a five in there. If we do, oh, we are left with all dots. Look at that. So let's, let's do one dot, five dot, three crack. At least we can do two, four, five. Maybe in the next pass. No keepers. We did get a west though. Now that would be a wind and dragon hand, not like numbers. So let's pass it. 
and let's try to make this let's see here two four five for next pass that's a great pass right there little number big number even odd and a wind we got a dragon that works in like numbers let's pass these three okay no keepers here let's pass two four east No keepers we have a lot of discards well five one more than what I like to be left with but you know what we could do here is play the like number hand with five flowers and use these if we get even two flowers we'll be set we could pung here Kong there or we could keep this for our pair use this to get a pung Kong here and build up flowers Maybe keep that for a while. Like numbers. We have a couple of jokers of flower, one seven eight in cracks with a pair of eights, four five seven eight nine in bams, and then a five dot. If these were your tiles, I'm guessing that you would play odds because we have two jokers. That would be really hard to play singles and pairs because then we'd have to throw these away. So let's focus on odds. We'll just keep them all. And we'll break that up now we have a challenge because we have like numbers that's almost as risky as passing a pair so I think what I would do is maybe discard the seven crack because we could maybe play the concealed hand or we could play five seven seven nine either the five or the seven could go all right let's pass these we got five seven oh that was a good choice then let's break that up oh we got the seven too look so we have five, seven, seven, nine. There's a hand right there. So let's focus on two suits. Maybe we could do, let's see, one, three crack, five, seven, nine dot. Mix suit number one under odds. Or five, seven, seven, nine. Five seven seven nine or one three five seven nine. We got a nine crack. Oh, here's a three dot. Maybe we could play the concealed hand. Now I th did we give away a five bam? I don't remember. Let's pass these three. We got a green dragon. That doesn't work in here. The dragon hand in odds is, is corresponding and our multiples in the five. So let's pass these three. Three dot. There's a six. Oh, we got a one. One, three. One, three, three, five three multiples that's what I would focus on and then I would pass these three 
We have a gap, but we have jokers. There's another three. Now we have like numbers. Passing like numbers. We could pass one blind because we're on the last right. But because we have jokers, really we're one away from being set if we can just get a three crack. We could pung here, kong, kong. Or we could pung here, pung here with two jokers for the three crack, kong, build up. I think I would risk passing like numbers. Even though there's a gap, two jokers for a pung gap, not bad. We got a flower, flowers. Okay, now let's see. I was just thinking about multiplication, three, five, one, five. We have a one, we have flowers, we have five and joker bait. Flowers, one, five, three, and five. Multiplication, we have options. Either one, three, three, five, or multiplication with the flowers. So I would keep that because we need mixed suits. And we have one discard for optional cross. I would say I want one tile. Now, a lot of people will decline if you ask for one tile. Many times there will be a decline because whoever asks for one tile is either in between hands, which is what we have here, or they're very close to a winning hand. We'll ask for one. I don't think there'll be any keepers in here. I don't recall, but let's find out. No, that's a discard. One, three, five, seven, nine. We have a joker, east, west, south, four, seven, and bams, eight, nine, and cracks, one, three, four, five, eight, nine, and dots. We need to force a singles and pairs hand. Which one would you force in that category? If these were my tiles, I would either fourth force news consecutive or the two suit odd hand. We have one, three, five, nine, and then we have seven and nine. Here's two discard, three discards. So I would pick a suit. Since we need pairs in the nine, let's let the seven go and pass those three. So we have two options, either the odd singles and pairs hand or news consecutive. And we can repurpose these two with odds. We got ones and one three. So let's go with odds. We can now use all those for passing. So let's pass these three. Whoa, red dragons. Red dragons with odds. I don't think that's going to be helpful. Red dragon. Okay, let's break it up. We got a seven. One, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, one, nine. Tiles to pass. Keeper. One, three, five, seven, nine. We got our pair there. We have tile, oh, oh, east, pair east. I would not do that. 
I would pick one of these. So which one? One, three, one, nine. These would be pairs. Let's pass these. At least we have one of each of the pairs. No keepers. No keepers. A lot of wins in that one. Let's see, let's keep the three and pass east-west. Optional cross. No keepers, we got evens. <laughs> okay, so we have four discards and a joker. But look, one, three, five, seven, nine. If the singles and pairs hand doesn't come in, maybe we could switch to one, through, one three, five, seven, nine, the very first hand. So I would hold that for a little while and try to build up one of these, probably the cracks. So this probably will need to go. Maybe discard the east first and then those. Try to build up cracks for the odd pair hand. Every year when I get the new card from the National Mahjong League, I challenge myself to win every hand on the card before the next release. I call it the dot challenge because I mark every hand that I win with a Sharpie, just with a little dot to the left of each hand. It's a great way to push yourself as a player. And I challenge you to try it if you haven't already. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.